Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing wonderful. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back, Gemini and cross watchers. This is a safe place, a safe channel for everyone, but your time is very precious. It's very valuable. I know you have things to do, so we're gonna jump straight into it. But before we go into the tarot, I wanna do something a bit different. I wanna do an energy check-in for all of you. You may receive some messages that are related to love. Some could be related to finances or just other areas of your life that spirit would like to bring to your attention. So this will reflect now current energies and also energies that are pretty much imminent. They are on their way to you, Gemini. So let's see. What do we have for you, Gemini? Let's see. I'll grab three cards for you. There's one. Bear in mind, some of these cards could also be a heads up for you as well of something that's probably happening and you're not aware of. Whoa. Last one, please. There we go. Excellent. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have door to value which is really, really good. So we've got a lot of money coming in. If you are waiting for, for example, a pay rise, if you're waiting for any money to come in, even if it's like some form of inheritance, something of value, which I looked at that and instantly I thought of the Ace of Pentacles. We literally have the doors bursting open and there's money. If you wanna sell something like a house, you wanna sell a business, um, I'm getting it's more here, it's going to be work related. Like if you're waiting for that one offer um, or if you're looking for a job, it's going to be very, very profitable. Now we have three plus one, which is four. You've been planning for this. This is not something spontaneous just out of luck because you woke up on the right side of the bed. This is something that you've been planning for. You've been working for it. And now we have money in all the different currencies coming towards you. So that's good. You know, we have debts, loans, everything will be paid off. In saying that, let's get more messages here for you. Of course, we're going to have you, the magician and the mirror. Now, this for me is just like the magician in the uh, tarot, which is actually ruled by you, Gemini and Virgo, but primarily Gemini. Beautiful. So what does that mean? You've manifested this because you've worked really hard for this. So the, I hope there are other areas here of your life that are showing you that, hey, we've got brand new beginnings. And we've also got the number eight. Eight is the, nu is the number of finances, money, success, infinity here as well. So you've manifested this, not because you've sat down on the couch hoping for it, it's you planned for it and you've worked for it. So we already know that, already Spirit is saying, Gemini, things that you've been working really hard for with your career, your idea, business, whatever it is, even your studies, it's gonna pay off in big ways. What else are you manifesting? man holding the heart again look at that we've got um so four plus blah, blah, is nine i have to I actually have to count i'm not good with numbers we've got the number nine of solitude perhaps for a while you've been single or wondering where you are where is it going to happen what's going to happen now for my masculines watching this literally you're holding on to your heart here you've carved it out of your pants you're ready to give it to someone for my feminines watching this we have someone here that is about to approach you here for romance either way someone is holding their heart for you and this is really beautiful because we're seeing the brand new start of romance and also finances what's the other one really now we've got the woman holding the heart so what's happening here we've got again the number eight of infinity finances your perfect match is coming it's not when it's just a matter of, well sorry it's not if it's a matter of when we've got the man and the woman holding the heart you've got the perfect match here i'm definitely confident to say this gemini from now until the end of the year you've got two big areas of your life that are about to explode they're just going to manifest it's like literally like the empress energy exploding and giving birth to this we've got so much money career your studies your finances are all going to pay off do not worry if you're struggling with finances that is about to end and of course the magician here is saying you've worked for it you've manifested it. you've put the time and the hours you've put in the effort and now we've got the perfect match coming in. This is meant to be. I'm really excited about this reading. And I really, I can't wait to see what the tarot is going to say now. Because we, are, we have touched a little bit on your finances and your career. But obviously the big message here is that we've got the ultimate it couple. 
yeah. it's the perfect match it's what you've dreamed for it's what you've wanted and you've manifested it because you've put in the back work as well here gemini let's get straight into the tarot let me see i don't want to put any um topic or any subtopic although we do have the six of cups this could be someone that you know it could be someone you're dealing with perhaps you're taking a break from them or you've disconnected from them someone's thinking about you which is why someone has prepared to carve their heart out of their trousers and now they want to give it to you let's see Now, Gemini, as usual, if this reading speaks volumes to you, if you know that it resonates and it sounds like your story, I do invite you to check out your optional extended reading, Gemini, and the link to the extended is in the description box below. It is the first link underneath all the yellow stars. It is available to rent, to purchase. You can download it to your phone, to your computer. It is yours for life, Gemini. You can do whatever you want with it. Can take screenshots so if you've rented it um i think you only have it for three days so take screenshots write everything down it's a very good tool um, to see how things unfold and unravel for you now the purpose of that extended gemini is that i will be doing that reading now a hundred percent from your person's perspective because clearly we've got it's just imminent we've got someone coming in it's just i almost feel like it's here it's almost at your door beautiful let's see all right, so yeah, from your extended, I will be focusing on your person's hopes, fears, wishes, any secrets, agenda, actions. How do they think of you? How do they think of the past? And all of that. So also, Jim and I, I did put in the community page that I will be reopening personal readings towards the end of the year. Um, do check that out. You just have to scroll down um, in the community page. I think I posted it like just only a few days ago. Um, and there'll be more information to come. Let's get into your reading. The Queen of Cups. Why am I not surprised? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Jim and I, there are two meanings here as the overall energy. One, I do need to commend you, is that you're focusing on yourself. You may be buying things that make you feel special here, like clothes, a new wardrobe, things for the home. Now you actually really understand the value of self-love, self-respect, putting yourself first. It's about being empathetic, nurturing, patient, especially towards yourself here. Another thing here is that someone is prepared to give you that cup of love. This person is literally immersed in water. And the more water I see, Gemini, the more affection, the more love and adoration there is for you. Justice, major, there for Libra. See how the scales are balanced? Mm. If you are due for an apology, Gemini, as well, that is coming towards you. This is someone that wants to balance the scales. You may have been dealing here with a water sign or very, very strong water um, in their chart here. This is someone that could have been dealing with a separation, a divorce, something legal here as well, signing documents, for example, and now that's finalized. And here we have someone that wants to make up for lost time, lost love. But the thing is with justice, though, is that this person wants to right some wrongs that they have done to you in the past. So it's about earning your trust back, though. And here we have it. We have the Knight of Swords. This will directly impact you. It is ruled by Gemini. Of course, you could be dealing with a fellow Libra or Aquarius. This is the fastest knight, Gemini. This is someone that cannot get too fast enough. Knights are all about messages, certain changes. In this instance, in the next couple of weeks, it will be all about communication. What will they communicate to you about? Well, there it is again. We need to acknowledge it. The Six of Cups wants to keep coming out. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy, that's reconciliation. So for some of you, and you will know who this is already. I, I don't have to tell, you will know. This literally could be someone from your past that you have been thinking about, that you've been quite nostalgic. This could even be a friend that comes forward. Maybe, you, you know, there was probably a, a bit of a tiff, an argument, or this is a friend that wants to take it to the next level. It's someone that you're on a break with. Either way, you have history with this person, you know them, they know you like the back of your hand. There could be children involved here. We're seeing a very strong past life connection, but this person here will communicate to you, Jim and I, that they want a second chance. They want to take it to the next level. Are they stressed about doing this? Absolutely. You see, it's been a long road. And to get to this point here, Sagittarius energy, it's been stressful for the both of you. It's been no easy feat. In fact, it feels like it's been an uphill battle. It's the card of physical burnout. But here we go, even though they're stressed, Page of Cups, 
Cancer Scorpio Pisces, this person will be still offering you a genuine apology and offering you messages here that are fueled by love and emotions. Now, let's get to the first line. Now, Jim, and I do have to apologize for talking very fast. Um, it's just more often than not, I do get a lot of messages. So I just want to make sure, Jim and I, to make it fair that you get all your messages. So let's do the first one first. What's the head of your reading? The Four of Swords, Libra Energy. I still see, Gemini, that you are in recuperation, recovery mode here as well. Interesting to note that we have the physical burnout card and we've got the mental burnout card. Now, I see here that you're in semi-isolation. Yes, you go out, but it's more like if I need to, if I have to. Um, it's not as bad as the Hermit, which is completely 100% self-imposed isolation here. Um, the Fours, again, are all about planning. It's gathering your thoughts. It's for the next step. I think you know when this person arrives, you will need mental clarity. You might find yourself just working too much and just you need that extra rest. In fact, you might find that you fall asleep the next day. You still wake up mentally tired, though. And that is very typical of Gemini. We are the overthinkers. We, we can't help it. We can't change who we are. But this is a time here where you're still mending your heart. Take your time. Take all the time you need, Gemini. More, please. The Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, that's the minor arcana um, or the smaller version of the Empress. I'm seeing here, Gemini, a lot of you are really just focusing on other areas of your life. And I'm so happy to say that it is going to pay off. Look at that. The door to value. It's going to pay off. You do not have to worry about money. If you're worried about money now, I'm telling you why you shouldn't be, because this is also the card of luxury. This person is surrounded by pentacles. Many of you are focusing on your studies or going back to study, doing research. Many of you might be self-employed or entertaining that thought here and just really focusing on work and just the coin here. So you're very independent. You are alone, but you're not lonely. So I'm seeing here just as a side note here. Um, as a little footnote, just try not to burn yourself out. It's so easy for me to sit here and say it, but spirit wants you to be aware of this. Another thing here is what I'm picking up is that your person is coming back knowing that they left you in this condition. At the same time, they don't want you to be single because this is my singles card. But you're still doing very well on your own. You're very independent. More, please. The Two of Swords. Libra Energy. So is there something here that you have been trying to avoid? Let's be honest with ourselves. You see, the Two of Swords is about making a choice. We reach a fork in the road and it's like, oh, do I really want this person back? Maybe if you asked me six weeks ago, I would have said, yes, I want to go running back to this person. But now it's like, I don't know. I'm pretty good on my own. And, so that's, the, and that's the thing of the human condition is that we can get used to something quite quickly, um, such as you know being single. We get used to it, especially when we're very successful in other areas of your life. We enjoy then having no one, for example, holding us back, even though no one should be holding us back. Um, but sometimes it's like I'm just a little bit indecisive on how to move forward. By the time someone, we have a divine masculine or divine feminine will be coming into your life here, although we have the perfect match to uh, say, can we start over again? Second line, please. The Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. No wonder. This makes a lot of sense now why you're in this recovery mode. You've had a dramatic ending. The Ten of Swords can represent many things. Loss separation, betrayal, deceit, divorce, everything that comes to an end. Sometimes an ending can come with a sigh of relief. Sometimes it makes us very sad. More often than not, we feel mentally we've hit rock bottom because we feel quite betrayed by someone, how they conducted themselves, how the fact that they never fought for this and they were on their merry way and they kind of left you looking out thinking, is this it? It's not. Something else is happening behind the scenes here. Let's talk about the beating heart of your reading. Now, Gemini, this can often represent mutual energies. No doubt it's a powerful card. It will actually affect all the other cards. What do we have? The Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Interesting to see this, isn't it? From an ending, we have a brand new beginning. All aces, and I don't care which ace you get, it is all about brand new beginnings here. Look at the difference from saying, I just want to be alone, and then something suddenly, it lights this fire in your belly. I can already see it's going to happen all together, especially with your career. New job offers here, promotions, change of job. If you are self-employed, that's just going to explode. Please keep doing it because honestly, Jim and I, if there's anyone that can think outside of the box, it is you. You're a natural problem solver. 
a natural person where there are no resources, you find the resources, you make stuff happen. But I'm seeing here that perhaps we've got a brand new passionate start now that might actually get you excited and a bit curious about this person. More please. The Nine of Swords, that's you, Gemini energy. I really hope, Gemini, that you are not sitting here blaming yourself. Again, it's so easy for me to sit here and say these things. Sometimes this card means guilt seeks punishment. Now, this can often, I know this is, I don't want this to be a negative reading. This can actually show we had high hopes for pregnancy. This can often show also loss of pregnancy, like miscarriage and all that. There will be a turn of events here. Please, there is always light at the end of the tunnel because we've got here two very sad cards which are both Gemini energy sandwiched in the middle we've got a brand new start and it's like wow I see the light at the end of the tunnel now I'm excited here um, putting this as a side note though because your person unfortunately did a very good job of making you feel very very unloved very unworthy this card can often indicate we're feeling quite well now at night time we're feeling a little bit lonely this card is often linked to anxiety um, a bit of depression here as well. What if? What if I was this? What if it was that? You know, what could have been? What should have been? No. In fact, this card now is being divided into your person having major regret over what they did because they know they left you mentally in this state. So there is a lot of regret from your person's part though. But let's continue and I can't wait to clarify these cards. The Eight of Swords. There you are. Gemini Energy. Interesting that you got all your cards. We've got progressive, eight, nine, ten, all Gemini energy. I'm seeing here that you will be holding back. And I'm seeing that th there is a lot that you were afraid of at life at the moment. If things have not worked out, if things have come crashing down almost like a tower, we may be afraid to start again. What if we lose it again? What if we lose the money I worked hard for? What if I try to get pregnant and I lose it again? What if I give this person another chance? They break my heart again. So I'm seeing here that you are holding back. Interesting to see this, Gemini, that you are ruled by your thoughts. This is mental self-imprisonment because that's you right there. How you're seeing the situation is that, oh, I'm all tied up. I, there's no way that things can get better for me. This is the card of the ego, Gemini. It's 100% not psychic though. And this is only we're holding back just out of fear. And I understand that we get burnt once, twice. It's almost like how many times do we have to get burnt until things work out? So I understand where you're coming from. All of this is showing me that you're in a stage of recuperation building up your spirit once more. Let's talk about the near future. The Eight of Cups, Pisces energy. I see you walking away. That which no longer serves you. In fact, you're walking away from fear. And I do commend you because a lot of people, Jim and I, are stuck in what is familiar, you know, in that victim mentality mode where the ego says nothing's ever gonna work out for you. No, you're walking away from people, situation, and events that no longer serve you. In fact, you prefer to leave these cups that are sinking and the ones that are good, you prefer to leave them behind. Some of you may be going on a trip here. Now, interesting to note, because I just got this message, if your person was dealing with a third party, they are walking away or have walked away, but you're still holding back though. I want to know the outcome. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so I'm seeing here that pretty much you're still keeping your cards very close to your chest. I'm getting a lot of recovery and protective mode from you. There's nothing wrong with that. We're protecting our energy. We're protecting our heart. Your person here is not letting you go. They refuse to let you go. I'm almost seeing here there's also a bit of, how could I say this? We're a little bit afraid of spending the money that we worked so hard for. Do not worry because please, let's remember the card. I mean, you've got a... I've got a crap load of money coming in. I say that with respect. I want to clarify these cards because your person is coming back, Gemini. But I feel like they're coming back in a moment where a lot has happened to you personally. Personally work. Isn't that weird? I haven't even shuffled. And the Eight of Cups is there. Both of you are walking away from a lot. Let's see. This is, in, in other words, it's an unfinished chapter between the both of you, Gemini. Let's see, just want to make sure that's upright. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, we've got a solid new start happening. And this is what you want. It's the, the promise of something that is not going to waste your time anymore. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Some of you are definitely studying. That's going to pay off. Um, more importantly, though, someone wants to see you face to face. They want to offer you something small, but they want to see you face to face. Knight of Swords again. Mm coming in hot two more 
last one. I have really seen here, Jim and I, that a lot of you have suffered a lot mentally. So but now we've got a turn of events. Page of Swords, look at that. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, someone's watching you. Someone's keeping tabs on you. They haven't said anything to you yet because the sword is pointing down, but uh, they are keeping tabs on you and they're going to come and tell you the truth about why things ended. If you feel betrayed, deceited by how things ended, by this person, they're coming to tell you the truth. You have every reason though not to trust them because they have not been honest with you. Seven of Swords, that's Aquarius energy. There's been a lot of lying, a lot of cheating, deceiving, being strategic, but here your person comes to make this right. There's that Knight of Swords again, and they're going to tell you the truth about why things ended. Scorpio energy. Death is the card of fate as well. It's a 2.0 version of this relationship. It's also about rebirth and transformation. And here they come. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for reunion. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, we've got abandonment issues here. I'm very inclined to say for the last three years, because I just got three years, it has not been easy. It hasn't. It's been exhausting. In fact, it's been mentally exhausting and draining where uh, there's been some points you've lost all hope. Not anymore. Let's clarify you, the Four of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this is why you're going to be chewing on this idea, because the Four of Swords, as I repeat, is gathering your thoughts about this. Someone's coming back. This person wants to commit to you. Absolutely. Would not be surprised if this past person was married in the past um, or heavily committed to someone else. And here they are looking to the future thinking, I don't want Jim and I to be single. I don't want to be single. I want to commit to you. That's why I am not seeing a no and I'm not seeing a yes from you yet. Let's talk about that nine of pentacles. Yeah, see the ten of cups. Pisces energy, my happily ever after card. Yeah, you are happy on your own. I get it. But we've got double happiness coming with this person now because something has changed within them during this time apart. It's a very strong card of reconciliation, um, even of children or a blended family, domestic bliss. It's having it all. It's the rainbow of blessings here. What is it that you're a little bit conflicted about? What is it that you're thinking about? Let's see. The three of wands. Aries energy. This person may be at a distance, they don't have to be, but you see how this person's holding on to this one. They left the two behind. You know eventually what you will need to do. You will not be like this forever. Absolutely not. It could be this conversation with this person that actually clears everything up. I think you're conflicted whether to make that first move or to even meet them in the middle. I do know that your person here, they're waiting for the right moment. It's like they wanna catch you in a beautiful sunny day where you know there's a guarantee that you're happy and all this. Of course, you know, they really don't know how you're doing, but here they come in. So I think your question is, do I want to meet this person in the middle? Let's talk about that Ten of Swords because you are on the receiving end of a, well, a really sad ending. More, please. Yep, the moon. Pisces, Cancer, Energy. I think this is what's bothering you is that you were left in the dark. Your intuition knew that there was more to this situation as to why this person either rejected you or, I don't want to say the word dump, I hate that why they disconnected from you because i feel like that came out of left field it is a card of mystery secrets where things were hidden your intuition always knew that there was more to this you can read between the lines and i think your person knows that <laughs> they know that's why they're coming in yes with that king energy um but they're kind of trading very slowly and very carefully around you mm, yeah emotions are still running high for this person i can see that so it's just a bit of conflicting energy that's happening um, within your heart and your mind, Gemini. Let's talk about this Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, it wants to come out and we're going to acknowledge it. See, if the cards are meant to come out, they will come out. So not only do we have a fiery, passionate new start here, this now is something more tangible. Whereas the Ace of Cups is that more of that uh, emotional brand new start. This is something tangible. It's commitment, it's security, stability. It could be marriage, it could be moving in together. And it gets you excited here. There could be topics even in the future, in due time, of course, no rushing, of moving in together here as well. And your question is, I'm afraid of giving this person a new chance. I'm afraid, and I don't blame you, Jim. And I, I would be exactly, I would be feeling exactly the same, especially if they left you like this where you blamed yourself, which I can tell you right now, do not blame yourself. Let's talk more about this. The Four of Wands, Aries energy. 
twin flame energy, the case of the chaser and the runner, and here your person comes back um, chasing you. You might be running away from them. This is again a very strong card of reconciliation, of commitment, of marriage. I do see here that there could be a change of address, a change of job, promotion here. It is known as the ultimate card of celebration and it's gonna get you out of this. You know, it's almost like I feel your person because they're coming, and male or female does not matter. Please remember, gender is not important here. But because this person is coming back with that king energy where they're more grounded, more practical, and believe it or not, more loyal, it gets you out of that nine of swords energy. I still see you have your apprehensions, you're asking your questions, but the energy is getting a lot more lighter now. This is what we want. Let's talk about that eight of swords. I see you holding back, and I see you holding back out of fear still. The high priestess pisces energy so your intuition here it literally will be like doing this to you it's like you know your spirit team saying gemini gemini we know that you're scared we know that you're worried about giving this person another chance we know that you cannot even feel that you can afford to have your heart broken and lose time again but we've got secrets good secrets knowledge information conversations that still need to be revealed to you i think you need to hear the truth before you actually say a hundred percent yes Mm, yep. And I feel here that you're being quite secretive yourself. You're holding back your, your true thoughts and feelings. Perhaps your heart wants to run back to them, but your mind is saying, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I've got the eight, the nine, and the ten of swords. This person really broke my heart. Let's talk about that eight of cups. What else are you prepared to walk away from here? Yep, the magician again. There we go. So remember that in your energy, different cards, different authors, you already got the magician. You got it twice now. You very well be maybe walking away from pain, from that which no longer serves you, and your person could be doing the same thing. And now we've got Gemini Virgo energy, the master manifester. It is brand new beginnings. So we're walking away from the past and we're going towards a brand new start with this person. Now, let's see about this four of pentacles is the seven of cups, Scorpio energy. Again, just a little bit of a confusion from your part. How do I move forward? More please. There you go, Eight of Swords again. I think you're, whole, you're really scared about this. Gemini, if you are really that scared, do not rush into this. Because the Six of Cups is my friendship card. Even just start off as friends. More please. Look at that, Four of Swords. We start with the Four, we end with the Four. And we've got the King of Wands. I think eventually you will be taking action. The King and the Queen of Wands do take action, but I see this as a very slow process, Gemini. Why do I say that? Because we've got the justice card. Your person, they're going to have to work double time, over time to earn your trust back. And I think it's going to happen. Absolutely. So this is why now in your optional extended to get more information. In fact, it's going to offer you more clarity. I really, really want to focus on this because your person is coming back regardless of how you feel. We need to work through these fears here. They're going to have to earn it. I want to see this. What's, let's have a peek over the other side of the fence and see what is really happening in your person's life and why are they coming back now to make things right. So Gemini, as a reminder, I'll be using four different decks and the link to your extended is in the description box below. And I'm just going to get straight into it, Gemini. I'll see you there. But if this is where we depart, I wish you the very best. In fact, Spirit is already saying it's going to work out in your favor. Much love to you, Gemini, and thank you for joining me. Bye.